Oh, hi, I'm Andre, Solution Engineer at PDFtron. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to integrate PDF Viewer and Editor inside of a Mendix application to enable viewing for PDF MS Office images and other documents and integrate it into Mendix workflows. For this example, I'm actually going to be using my Windows machine. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, great. So now I'm inside of my Mendix Studio Pro. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a new app, but before that, let's download a couple of prerequisites that we will need. So if we navigate over to github.com slash pdftron slash webviewermendex sample, and I'll post the link in the description, let's go ahead and download this zip. Now I have already downloaded and placed it onto my desktop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract it. Okay, great. And inside of this, I will just grab this right here, copy, and we'll need it just in a second. Let's go ahead and create a new app. I'll just choose blank app to get started. And then I'm just gonna call it uh, web your sample. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, great. And now we're inside of my application. Now it now created a kind of directory for this project. So let's go ahead and find it inside of our uh, desktop. So to do that, let's go back to the web your amendic sample master that we just created and copy this. We then gonna place it into the Mendix uh, project location, uh, which is available here under documents Mendix. You may have configured to be different. Uh, web your uh, sample main. And inside of here, let's go ahead and create a new folder and we will call it custom uh, widgets. And inside of here, uh, let's go ahead and create another folder and we'll call it uh, WebViewer. And now inside of WebViewer, we're gonna actually go ahead and paste uh, everything that we copied from that GitHub sample. Now inside of here, I can go ahead and run my command open with code. Um, you can use any editor of your choice. And let's go ahead and pop open the terminal. And inside of the terminal, uh, there's two things I wanna do. I want to go ahead and install any of the dependencies that we might need uh, specifically for this. Now, if npm gives you an error and it's not a recognizable command, make sure to go ahead and install node uh, as your development environment. So you can just go ahead here to node.js uh, and download it uh, available here, LTS. Uh, this is the version I'm using on this machine. Okay, great, we have finished. Uh, installing all the necessary dependencies. As a next step, let's go ahead and run the command npm run dev. Now, what this will do is that using all the dependencies that we just pulled in, it will build um, a package available here in the dist uh, for PDFtron, and the package is gonna be mpk, so now we can reference it inside of our project. Okay, so we're done with this for now. Uh, let's go back to the Mendix, um, Studio, um, using the pro version, um, and inside of here, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and create a new entity inside of the main module. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it, and then press new entity, and I can just place it, and we're gonna give it a new attribute. Uh, it's gonna be string two hundred is okay. Click okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and open our uh, home web page and drag over uh, the data view, okay? And inside of the data view, let's go ahead and select the data source. Uh, we're gonna create a microflow and um, we're gonna select, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new microflow. Let's just call it microflow, that's good. Click okay. And let's go to navigate. So inside of the microflow, let's go ahead and delete uh, this parameter. We're not gonna be using it. And then we're gonna grab a create object and we're gonna drag and drop it onto uh, our microflow. Now, inside of here, uh, let's go ahead and open it. And we're actually gonna select the entity we just created. Okay, click select and click okay. Great. And then here, uh, one more thing that we're gonna do is set the new entity as a return value. Okay, perfect. So the microflow is now set up. Okay, let's go back to the home page. The next step, uh, back in our home page, uh, let's go ahead and drag a text box inside of it. And inside of it, 
uh, we're going to select the attribute which we just created okay great and as a next step uh, let's go ahead and synchronize our project directory with the newly created widget uh, that we just put together and as you can see here now it's available for us under add-on widgets uh, the custom web viewer so let's go ahead and drag and drop it as you can see it uh, requires one thing the attribute path so now we can go ahead and select that attribute from the one we've just created okay great so this attribute right here is what will help us to interact with web viewer and i will show it to you later okay uh, so we place the widget great so now we're actually ready to run it so let's go ahead save and continue everything and build it okay great it compiled with no errors so now the server is starting up and we should be able to view the application in our browser so inside of here ah yes there's one more step that we got to do so if you run into this we forgot to copy over some of the resources necessary for a web viewer to run so to do that actually let's go back uh, to the web viewer uh, sample under custom widgets web viewer and inside of the node modules let's go back uh, let's go to the PDF tron slash web viewer and we just need to grab everything in the public folder and go ahead and copy it now let's go back kind of to the root directory of our project and let's go ahead and place it under theme and resources so the reason I'm placing it here it's because this location it serves all the static resources and files so inside of here let's go ahead and create a new folder and I'll call it lib since I'm referencing the same way in my project and I'm gonna paste all the resources right here okay great so now uh, back in the Mendix studio we just gotta synchronize the project directory and just rerun it and now we can see the app right here and as you can see um, we have the web viewer now fully loaded inside of it. Now, if we go back to the web viewer code and take a look at SRC components, uh, PDF viewer TSX, we're gonna see that here's the kind of our viewer constructor, which in which we can pass in uh, different customizations available. Uh, and we can also uh, interact. So the attribute property that we've just created is actually available as a props that value right here and uh, using use effect we're listening to any of the changes and if that changes from being a blank statement we're actually going to call our api to load a different document files are hosted on our pdf tron s3 and we did configure a uh, cross origin uh, policy specifically on it um, if you don't know what course is, you can actually Google uh, PDF from course and we provide you the setup uh, that we did specifically for our S3 to allow the files to be served. Okay, and this is how you integrate uh, PDF Tron's web viewer inside of a Mendix application. Thanks so much for watching.